Uh, so, hi everyone. Um, uh, what is fulfillment? Why do we care? Um, or more specifically, how do we go beyond just like a basic definition is really what I want to talk about um, this evening. Um, I'm Ben, I'm a developer and consultant at ThoughtBot. Um, I've been in tech for about 13 years now. Um, and most of that time has been uh, unfulfilling or unsatisfied or some other word kind of around that. Um, but don't worry, we won't make it a group therapy session this time. Um, I'll we'll talk more constructively. But you know, let's do let, you know, let's do a random list of problems first. Um, delivery without planning, top-down system replacements, uh, team environments where no one's really trusted, um, tech only for tactics, um, miscommunication all the time. Um, I'm sure at least I'm sure all of you have experienced at least kind of one of these. Um, and um, I kind of had enough, really. Um, so I was quite, uh, um, you know, it's just, it's just too much time. Work takes up too much time. And until we don't have to work all the time, um, I would like it to be uh, uh, enjoyable. So it was quite lucky when I was listening to a podcast and CEO of ThoughtBot said something along the lines of uh, this value, um, which really comes down to the trust and respect. Um, element um, and um, yeah I was sold um, it was exactly what I was wanting to hear at the time um, uh, and so some time passed um, thought about hire me uh, great um, I don't magically become perfectly fulfilled um, thought is by far the best place I've worked so that's great so you know big tick made progress kind of fulfilled, um, but I was interested now in how do I get to, uh, like really fulfilled. Um, and um, uh, no one, um, despite the fact that um, ThoughtBot put a lot into like open source community and there's lots of things documented, um, uh, you know, someone coming up learning Ruby, you know, there's all kinds of open source things, like very public, very vocal. But they didn't really have anything other than the kind of these values about like what fulfillment kind of would mean and, and uh, uh, could mean for anyone. Uh, so I thought I'd give a go at writing one. Um, we did an event earlier in the year um, with um, some really interesting people um, to kind of just discuss the theme as a whole. Um, I ran a session at our conference a couple of months ago to ensure I kind of got people's ideas and brainstormed, etc. Um, and then just loads of chat with people um, at work and, and in other places. Um, so this is my first uh, uh, presentation of all of this stuff that I've been thinking about and working, working on. Um, it turned out that when it comes down to it, uh, really what fulfilling work is pretty generic human stuff. So the first three are really, um, even though we work in tech and we're technologists, um, uh, there are just things as a human we really care about. So um, as I go through this, please um, uh, please do think about critiques, issues, etc. So um, uh, we can have a discussion at the end. Um, and the other thing I tried to do was take a step back as well from what I personally find fulfilling to hopefully something that is a bit more general and a larger group of people um, would be interested in. So the first one. I'm able to bring myself to work. Um, so for me, this is really about you bring as much of yourself as you want. So that's two extremes between wanting to show your whole self and be your um, be everything about you at work, or it might be wanting to uh, uh, you know be quite quiet, just go about your day, go about your work. Um, the amount of time I spend uh, at work supports my life as a whole. Um, I want to stay away from this word work-life balance because that can mean anything to anyone and can mean anything from just um, maximising time with friends and family and wanting a workplace that really values that. Um, or it might be equally being in an environment that uh, people want to work every possible hour that's sustainable in the day to build something interesting. Um, the second point about I work with people I want to work with. Um, so... Uh, does, does anyone around you enhance the kind of professional you? 
Sorry, I'm looking at my screen too much. Let me move that so I can actually, you know, be a good presenter as much as possible. Um, next point there about receiving as much support from those around you as possible. Um, again, for some, that might mean quite little. Um, that could just mean you want your PRs reviewed. Uh, for some, that might be something more intense and more direct. And this, of course, might vary as well, depending upon where and long in your career you are. Um, I can communicate effectively with those I need to. Um, so um, uh, probably not for this kind of set of pledges or this set of lists is perfect communication with everyone, but the uh, immediate people that you have to work with at work, um, can you communicate well with them? Uh, and then the third one in this first set is, I'm treated as important. Um, and uh, during the workshop, there was a lot of conversation about, do we use a word like uh, human or treated as an important human? Uh, does that go without saying that we want to be treated as human? So um, there's some ideas here, and I'll be really great to get everyone's thoughts on those. Um, I think some of these are quite clear, like what's the point of doing your work if it's not going to be valued? Um, uh, people treat you with respect. Uh, again, uh, I guess slightly separate from the communication because I guess you could be really valued but still communicate really poorly with people around you. Um, and there's you know, some kind of understanding about the, how the work you do uh, fits into the bigger picture. So I think the other three are also still pretty uh, generic, but because we work in tech, there's a few things that we, um, I think, uh, need a bit more uh, attention towards. So uh, funnily enough, we know that tech has an impact on the world around us. So um, whether you care about that in a big or a small way, you see the impact. So this could mean uh, in any, again, big or small way, um, helping make people's work or personal lives better, whether that's just making a frictionless experience into something more dramatic like uh, caring about uh, you know, uh, inequality on, like, uh, uh, on a societal or even global level. Um, tech has created some privacy problems, so uh, maybe people care about trying to fix some of those. Or equally, it may be that it's fine. You're, you're quite happy with the status quo, uh, but uh, you probably want to maintain that if you do like the status quo. Um, I'm proud of the work I do. I can go home with my head held high. So again, this seems pretty broad and interlinked with other uh, with the other ones. So, um, but there's a few things in about tech. There's a lot of people trying to solve a lot of problems. So it's probably not very fulfilling if you are working on a problem that you don't think tech can actually solve. Um, you might uh, care a vast amount about uh, craftship. So. Uh, there's that end about quality, or you want to ensure that you're getting it in front of users as fast as humanly possible. So again, another like broad spectrum about the speed in which your organisation works, or who you're working with supports who you are and what you want. Uh, there is a visible and understandable loop between my work users and the organisation. So again, there is like you know you, you don't you know that your work isn't just going into a void. Um, there's uh, some way to understand and connect these things. Um, analytics and things like uh, deployment processes being obvious, literal ones for, 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 for us. And the last one, um, I'm able to develop and grow. Um, so do I have the time to learn new skills? Am I in a work environment that understands um, that constant growth is important? Uh, because you could be making the time to learn new skills, but it could be uh, it could be viewed at, by the organization at the expense of uh, uh, your job. Uh, and also able to apply new concepts and tools. There's no point having this one bucket of stuff that you're learning um, on one side, but then you're still writing uh, equivalent kind of uh, drudge, boring stuff on the other. So done, that's my list. Um, so has, uh, writing this, taking me further along the super duper fulfilled uh, path, um, you know, no, but what it enables me to do is uh, qualify where I am now, uh, have that as part of conversations with uh, my colleagues, people I work with, with my manager, uh, with myself, um, and then plan and deliver ways to improve them and things that will uh, make my life better by doing them. 
time can pass, I can evaluate, and then I can do it all again. So um, I think just essentially seeing it as like a bit of a framework for growth, or uh, some things to come back to, some ideas to come back to, to um, uh, think about how this thing that requires so much time um, in my life is good and enjoyable. Um, so I guess my question for you is, uh, would you sign up for it? Don't worry, there's no pen and paper here forcing you to today. Uh, what about your employer? Um, what bits need to changing? And is there anything else? Any other questions? Cool. Thank you. <laughs>